Welcome to another Let's Talk Toku. Huh. Let's Talk Toku. Now that's a name I've not heard in a long time. A long time. So it's been... Holy crap, two months? That means we gotta cover as much Toku news as possible. Even though most of these are a couple of weeks old by this point. But that doesn't matter. Let's Talk Toku. The first listings have been revealed for Hasbro's highly anticipated Power Rangers Lightning Collection. The revealed figures appeal to be MMPR White, MMPR Pink, Dino Charge Red, the Magna Defender from Lost Galaxy, Lord Zed, the SPD Shadow Ranger, Beast Morphers Red, and Beast Morphers Gold. Hasbro has promised that the lineup will be multi-generational and non-linear, meaning any ranger from any series will be included in any assortment. The figures are in the same style as the Star Wars Black series and Marvel Legends, and will contain multiple accessories, and have up to 20 plus points of articulation, and the Power Rangers will come with civilian heads that you can swap on the figure. Now, I am really heavily anticipating, now that uh, Power Rangers now is in the hands of Hasbro, a company that actually seems to know what they're doing, I am very excited to see what they bring to the Power Rangers table, and this Lightning Collection seems like an awesome idea, and will be a much improvement that the Legacy line sadly failed to deliver. It's just in, YouTuber the TIV Thailand has put up a quick look at the upcoming piece of the Kamen Rider Zio toy line, the ride watch belonging to the destroyer of worlds, Kamen Rider Decade. Current rumors suggest that the powers of Kamen Rider Decade will be far stronger than any typical ride watch, granting Zio untold new abilities. Only time will tell the truth of these new powers. Now, I have been wanting a Decade ride watch in Zio for the longest time. Especially since the ending shot of Zio contains every ride watch from the Heisei era, except for Decade, and I am very excited to see Zio use Decade's abilities, as Decade is one of my personal favorite writer series, and in a way, Zio is pretty much a continuation of Decade. Toei has released the first full trailer for the upcoming Kamen Rider crossover film, Kamen Rider Heisei Generations Forever. The epic crossover film features a clash with all Heisei era Kamen Riders against a threat that could change reality as we know it. This trailer is amazing. I am pumped for this movie to come out, but as excited as I am, I am a bit concerned. Does this mean the Heisei Generations trilogy will end on a whimper, or will it go out on a bang? Only time will tell. The movie release is on December 22nd, 2018. However, it will probably take frickin' forever for it to get subbed here in the US. Kamen Rider Hibiki appears to be getting the Blu-ray treatment, as it has been announced that Hibiki will be released in a Blu-ray set. Well, actually not one set, but rather three. Set 1 will be released on January 9th, 2019 and contain the first 14 episodes. Set 2 is scheduled to release on March 6th, 2019 and contain episodes 15 through 29. Set 3 rounds out the series with episodes 30 to 48 and will be available on May 8th, 2019. In addition to the various volumes, it will contain interviews and retrospectives with a number of Hibiki cast members. Now, I'm not that big of a Hibiki fan, but I do know someone who is, so I imagine he is very excited. We officially have a set photo from Lupin Ranger vs. Pat Ranger 
versus Q-Ranger. An epic Super Sentai team-up movie is in the works. A new photograph taken behind the scenes during filming of Kaito Sentai Lupin Ranger vs. Keitsetsu Sentai Pat Ranger features two other Sentai heroes, Chameleon Green and Koguma Sky Blue of Ichu Sentai Q-Ranger. At the moment, it is not yet known if the Q-Rangers will be making a quick cameo in the current Super Sentai series, or if a full movie will be released in the future, although the latter is more likely the option based on past Sentai history. So, we're getting Lupin vs. Pat vs. Q-Ranger, but we weren't able to get Q-Ranger vs. Juoger. I still don't get that. The identity of the Power Rangers Beast Morphers Gold Ranger has seemingly been revealed. In a new set photo from Power Rangers Beast Morphers filming in New Zealand, fans can see Abraham Rodriguez, previously announced to play the character Nate, donning a gold sweatsuit next to a robot expected to be the Silver Ranger, following the same pattern as Power Rangers Beast Morphers Super Sentai counterpart Tokume Sentai Go Busters. The photo seemingly confirms that Nate, portrayed by Abraham Rodriguez, may become the Gold Ranger. The photo would seemingly confirm that the Silver Ranger, who will be a robot slash non-humanoid character, much like Zeno Wing from Power Rangers Dino Charge, and will use the same robot suit as Tokume Sentai Go Busters. At this time, not much is known about Rodriguez's character Nate. He can be seen wearing glasses on set in this photo, but his relationship to the other three Rangers remains unknown at the time. I am really excited to see the Gold and Silver Rangers in Power Rangers Beast Morphers, as they were two of my favorite Sentai members, not just in Go Busters, but in Super Sentai as a whole, and it'd be pretty cool to see them in Beast Morphers. Although I don't think that it's likely that the robot is going to be the Silver Ranger. And finally, Sledge and a Legendary Ranger will return for the Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel Christmas Special. Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel's Christmas episode will star a few very special guests. The popular villain duo from Power Rangers Dino Charge will make their return as Sledge and Poissandra take over the Warrior Dome to host their own TV show. But they won't be the only familiar face returning from the franchise. Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel's Christmas special will also feature the return of a legendary Power Ranger who has yet to be revealed. In the Christmas-themed episode, Sledge and Poissandra interrupt the Ninja Steel Rangers' holiday cheer as they invade Madame Odious' ship to broadcast The Poisey Show. Not really an interesting name, but hey, you gotta go with what you gotta go with. Not only does the show manage to captivate an audience, but the evildoers manage to take the five Ninja Steel Power Rangers hostage. Left alone, Preston must team up with the legendary Power Ranger from the past to save the day. Now, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I'm gonna guess that this new Power Ranger is Coda. Just, uh, putting it out there, you know? I mean... Not a brag or anything, but, um, then again, this, uh, news is probably a couple weeks old and was probably written before it was revealed that, uh, Coda was going to be in the Christmas special. I guess this is what I get for making you guys wait two months in between Let's Talk Tokus. That's going to do it for this Let's Talk Toku in the comments below. Let me know what you guys thought of these news that are probably a couple of weeks old by this point because I waited two months in between Let's Talk Tokus. Anyway, let me know what you thought in the comments below, and make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, as always, until next time, see ya.